Hello, I've played a lot of old school RuneScape over the years, probably too much. And now, as an excuse to play even more RuneScape, I'm finally exploring what our beloved pixel game has turned into, RuneScape 3. Everyone just wanted to jump in before the video and say thank you all so much for the support on the video so far. It has been way more than I anticipated and I'm excited to continue this series and improve the quality of the videos I'm putting out for you all. Speaking of which, if you haven't noticed, I got a new microphone, so this will be the last video recorded with my old microphone. Hopefully the new microphone makes videos more enjoyable for you all. And again, thank you so much for all the support and let's jump into the video. What I'm going to do today to start off is just going to go around the map, explore a little bit, and also unlock all the lodestones for the common locations where I'll be going a lot. And that is the Falador lodestone completed. I just wanted to go to Catherby. All right, and... What feels like an hour later, I completed a quest that hopefully I actually needed to complete to get to Catherby. If not, I just spent an hour, most of that on that ice puzzle, um, doing this for no reason. All right, actually, even though I don't think I needed to do that to get to Catherby, I got three XP lamps from that. Um, so I am going to throw those on farming because I feel like that will be... As an Iron Man, at least, I feel like that's going to be the skill that is a little bit rough since I'll have to get the seeds. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to throw that in and got up to level 17. So sweet. And now it is time for me to actually figure out how to get to Catherby. Okay, I'm just an idiot. There is a cave that I walked right past that got me over here. So, oh, well, I got a quest done and went on an adventure. All right, and just activated the Karamja lodestone so i don't think i have too many more um i will probably get the yanil and then the desert ones i will probably just at least get the alcarid one um and then do some questing okay so on my way to yanil i got distracted and started a muck a monk's friend and i remember this quest i remember what to do i just I have no clue where the ladder is, and it isn't one of these ladders. So I'm going to just wander around. I already tried the cave over there, and I knew that wasn't it because the cave leads you into um, that river section. I think that's for clockwork or watchtower or whatever that quest is. So, but I know the ladder to like where the thieves are hiding with whatever object, I, believe, I think it's like a blanket, is right, it should be right around here. So I'm just going to wander around until I find it. One hour later. What the hell is this? It was not like this before. So I've been walking around for the past five minutes now, and I decided to kind of backtrack, go through here. Yeah, it disappears. What is that? What type of magic is that? I guess they are thieves. Okay. Whatever. I found it. It's all good. And then we just have to either sneak past or kill these people, and I'm going to kill them. How is this man lost when you can see the church from right here? I think this is more entertaining because... I've already kind of gathered that in RS3 things are a little bit closer. I don't know if it's just because of like the graphical changes and the movement, but I am 99% sure that things are more smushed together than they are in OSRS. In OSRS, like at least it's a little bit of a walk for this guy when you do this quest, but in this, in RS3, you can see the church. This dude's just an idiot. He might be stupider than our playable character. Fact-checking myself. Brother is still a dumbass. It's right there. And that is Monk's Friend completed. I was going to do fishing contests since I accidentally started that too, but I just saw this Wilderness Flash event, so I think I'm going to actually go and try to do that. Because if I'm correct, PvP isn't always enabled in the wilderness, and I know the skilling flash events have good rewards or give good XP. 
um, one of my friends was telling me. So yeah, gonna try to hop on that before it starts. All right, I got my first hunter level doing this, and it looks like this is just kind of like a random group event. Not even a group event, but um, yeah. So I hadn't really heard much about these. Uh, I don't know what that strange rock is. Um, I hadn't heard much about these flash events, so I'm just assuming they're kind of like random events that happen periodically around the map and some of them are skilling based and some of them are like combat based because i've seen a couple that were talking more of like combat um so again like this is a cool feature i mean i'll take a few free hunter levels and i'm assuming there's probably one for like pretty much every skill um but i feel like a nice way to like break up any grinds that you're doing all right so just got done dude get out of here i'm trying to record a youtube video Gosh, I don't even get money from this. All right, so I got a sack of wild rewards and a strange rock. I have no clue, so I'll look at the strange rock. Oh, okay, so I can give it to the Varrock Museum. Okay, and then what do I get? Wyvern bones. Dang. Hi, Alk. Okay, there's 7,000 on the G. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, I think I can use those in necromancy, though. So that will be nice. Why? I cannot complain too much about that. Okay, and that is fishing contest completed. I forgot that you actually have to have brain cells to do runescape quests without runelight and the quest helper. So I feel I, feel, I have to be in the wrong room here. Is this a red chair, though? Grand Chair of the Red Wizard. And I've tried like every combination. Is there another room? Is it the original room I was in? Let's go try that because I've been sitting here for like five, ten minutes adjusting the other. And these rooms are empty. I think she told me to go to the library. I think I just am lacking brain cells. I really thought it was just a skill issue. I mean, it still is a skill issue, but I have them all in the right places. She told me the Grandmasters, though, use these. So, I mean, maybe I just need to use the normal ones first, but I feel like that just doesn't make logical sense. But it might. I don't know. We'll figure out, I guess. All right. It was a skill issue and a lack of focus issue. Because it says right here in the ruined shrine room beneath the wizard's tower. And this is the shrine room. And it has the symbols, I think. The fuck is that a symbol of? Ah, oh, these are the god symbols. I don't know. Alright, well I'm going to do this and try to figure this out. Only took five minutes of trial and error and I finally got it. That is rune memories completed. So I get one quest point, 300 magic XP, 300 rune crafting, first tower robes, and access to the Archmage personal rune essence chest. So I get free rune essence. I will take that. <clears throat> Sorry, wrong clip. I thought I was uh, playing Assassin's Creed here for a minute. Doing some parkour assassin stuff. I love it. I think this dude, I think Osmond's just trying to make me feel better. I think we definitely killed this dude. We definitely killed the king. But on the bright side, quest completed. Stolen hearts. Or as OSRS players know it as, Prince Ali Rescue. And for that, I got 
250 XP combat lamp, agility thieving, constitution, some coins, and I can get thief titles. Nice. Oh, and they want me to start another quest right away. Yeah, I will definitely start that. Okay, well, I think that is the end of this episode. We have gotten a lot done, did some questing, traveled around, got some lodestones, got our first flash event. So I think it was productive. And again, like I said last episode, I'm really enjoying the content I'm exploring. It's really enjoyable to do this without guides and without using the wiki as much as possible. We'll forget about that combat style situation in the first or second episode. But yeah, I'm having a really good time. Um, I feel like membership opens up a lot of new content for me. So I think in the next episode, finally, I will be exploring some other of the mini games and just new activities that I've never done before. So like always, I really appreciate the sport and you all coming and watching the video. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.